like saying YouTuber makes me sound more famous than I am. Hello beautiful, wonderful, fantastic people. I hope you're all doing incredibly well. A couple of weeks ago, <laughs> parkour. A couple of weeks ago, it was the Sydney Science Festival. And what that means for me is that a couple of really cool friends came to Sydney and they did talks, but more importantly hung out with me. And one of those cool friends is someone you definitely know. Her name's Toby. She runs a channel called Tibbies. So yeah, if you're interested in seeing two friends hang out for 10 minutes and talk about Psycom, then you will probably like this video. If you're not interested, and I understand completely, you should check out the video that we made on her channel. It's me and a bunch of my other friends going through an exam from the 1800s. And the results are pretty interesting, so I highly recommend you check that out as well. But without further ado, here's Toby. This is Toby, also known as uh, Tibbies. So there's a couple of things that I wanted to uh, mention. Number one, here is a graph of your subscribers over time. We met in December 2017. So here on the graph. In oh, so January 2018. <laughs> right before the peak. Ooh. Are you trying to say, Peter, that you're responsible single-handedly? <laughs> I'm not trying to say that. I'm just saying, what was it about meeting me yeah. that catapulted your I YouTube think, career? Look, I could say it's all to do with you, but I could also say it's like, it was just good timing for me. It was the, around the time I met you, I was doing my PhD, which I'm no longer doing. But while I was doing my PhD, I think I just became a lot smarter in terms of online video. I, I realized that if I wanted to grow my channel, I would need to be consistent and I'd need to upload often. Mm. Um, because, you know, I think when I met you, like I was only uploading like once every few months or something and it would just be like a random video here and there. It could be anything from a Guilty. vlog <laughs> to like a, yeah, I, I'm not trying this to like a personal personal attack or something. shade on you, but like, cause you're actually still doing your PhD, right? I ended up leaving because I, I wanted to do YouTube full time and I wanted the effort to put into it and to be consistent, but I, sure. I, I can say that when I started being consistent, my channel did take off and, um, I think it was like a statistics thing. If I'm making more and more videos, one of them is is going to sort of get some traction because there's just so many of them. And and through that process of essentially trial and error, I found what worked. And and, and through that, I found what people wanted to watch. The fact that the f the first video of mine to to do quite well was an unboxing exam was just sort of insight into the fact that people enjoyed kind of, you know, videos that were just a bit relatable. I, I felt that the unboxing exams were a bit interesting just to, to to other physics students, say, because they could relate to these feelings of going into an exam and, mm. and they found insight in me showing the questions because it helps them understand what they might actually have to do. As opposed to me before that sort of era of making videos, I guess I was trying to make... <sighs> Uh, less relatable sort of just you know science in general like um, science explainers and things like that mm -hmm. but it was like content that other people were doing much better than me whether it's like Veritasium or Vsauce or something like that I couldn't really compete with that but when I started making videos that were entirely my own sort of style the unboxing exams and whatever they weren't super high production but they were different and I think that helped. Mm. So one of the things that you because you played around with a couple of what I thought were really cool styles, right? You did the, a couple of the Universal Sandbox ones. Yes, Where I you're did, playing, yeah. playing a, you know, <laughs> a, done one of those in a universe while. creator and just narrating mm -hmm. over that. And I found them to be really great. Because I think, again, like the, the relatability mm -hmm. of it. Um, well, again, those are, are not high production at all. And um, actually, if people talk to me, they'll probably hear me start talking about my philosophy in life, which is minimal effort maximum gain and i do this it's like sounds a bit rude but like i do this in videos and everything like if i can make a video with as minimal effort as possible but you know have something that's enjoyable about it then i would much prefer make that to make that video than a super high production you know weeks and weeks of effort for probably the same amount of viewership or, or same amount of enjoyment so like when you make videos, what's actually the goal of the videos? Like do, do, do you think about that? Is that something that you actually have in mind? 
is it enjoyment? Is it relatability? Is it entertainment? Is it like yeah. what is the purpose of? Yeah, some, sometimes I get asked this, like you know, why? Why are you making these videos? And what's the point of your channel? And sometimes I find it a little bit hard to answer because maybe I don't entirely know why. And there's sort of a noble answer I could give, which is you know. Oh, I want to make science more accessible and I want to inspire people to do science and you know I want to show a, a girl in science which is what I am all of those things are true and I mm -hmm. do get comments from people saying that they felt inspired in some way to study something or to just you know care more about physics or math and that's great to hear but I probably don't do it for those reasons I just do it because I enjoy doing it and I, I just spend all my time thinking of ideas for videos. It's mm. like an addiction that I have. Like everything I see, I'm like, oh, how could that be an interesting video? And it's not like, you know, how can I inspire someone today? It's just like, huh, a Bob Ross like math video. That would be kind of funny. <laughs> like it just sort of goes like that. And sure. I love the creative combination of coming up with ideas. And then it's just really satisfying to execute and, and make them and then put them up and then get feedback. It's just like... It's really satisfying for me to go through that creative process and like the spin-off is that you know people might be inspired to do something great um, and I love that but it's mm. I don't know if there's any greater purpose other than that I really enjoy doing it um, a, a quick thing that I want to ask is about how the change in the YouTube algorithm towards you know 10 minute long videos that you ideally upload daily but you know at the very least weekly how that's changed the stuff that you make yeah, I think I tend towards longer videos just because I can't be succinct. <laughs> Look, I filmed a video recently and it was like unboxing a NASA astronaut exam. And I said to I myself, it. it's so good. Oh, thank you. I, I said to myself before I made it, I was like, Toby, please just try to keep this one brief. And I like was like, you know, aim for about six minutes or so. I tried real hard okay. to make it like six minutes long. And I filmed it and... I like opened the exam and I was like going through it and I had in my brain like yeah yeah be brief be brief and like just say a couple things on each page I just couldn't keep talking I couldn't stop talking about it like that's I was just so like, good the raw footage for that was an hour of me talking Jesus. about the exam and I was like oh god damn like <laughs> <laughs> that's awesome and I, I cut it down to like 15 minutes but mm. like and there's so much stuff I said that was just cut out completely because I'm not uploading an hour long video Maybe people would like that. I, I mean, know. like, maybe, I, I know how you feel about second channels, but like maybe, like, just a raw... Yeah, I don't know. But yeah. I honestly tried to be succinct. In no, that that's, really, that's really cool. Um, but I, I, the fact that I put it up at 15 minutes is like, you know, if, if I knew that people definitely preferred shorter videos, I would try extra hard to be succinct and I would try to cut it down. Mm. But knowing that people don't mind, you know, 10 to 15 minute long videos, I'm like, sure, I'll put it up at 15, that's close enough. I think I do self-identify as a science communicator, mm. right? Like, that's kind of what I do, and that's the hopefully the videos that I make are kind of science explain -y ish yeah. right? And I'm communicating science to the public, and I'm doing live talks and things like that. You apparently don't. Yeah, I think we are probably different. Like, your PhD topic is in physics education right this is the topic you actually know about you know you know much more than me about the actual details and data of how people learn physics and how to best communicate ideas i've never even looked into it right like i don't read papers about how to best disseminate a, you know scientific knowledge mm. i just sort of say stuff and do stuff and then take the feedback from my audience to kind of better my videos. But it would make sense, I feel, for you to to identify as a science communicator and as someone who is actually doing this for the purpose of inspiring or, or teaching, whereas I'm just sort of, you know, well, I said before, I'm just doing what I like and making videos because I, I would identify more as maybe, I don't know, a physicist, right? That's what my PhD was in. Mm -hmm. But I sort of fell onto the wayside and then fell into YouTube and I, I still don't really think I'm, I'm trying to, to be an expert in science communication. I just happen to be making videos because I, I love to do that and um, 
I kind of feel that one day in the future I will go back to a PhD yeah, cool. and it will be in physics again sure. and, and maybe I'll pick up where I left off if I you know I just have a project that I am really passionate about and maybe is a better fit for me but um and, and at that point I would go back to being identified as, as like a physicist with a YouTube channel um, sure but I, I think That's maybe really we cool. come from slightly different like even though you have a background in physics, you actually care most about communicating. Yes. It. Is that right? I don't yeah, know I, like, I love physics with all my heart, and it hurts me that people don't. You mm. know, that people yeah. kind of dismiss it as. I feel like you have maybe more noble goals. No, 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 no. I just want to travel the world and make cool videos. Mm. Like that. That's. But maybe some noble goals as well. But at the end of the day, I just want to live a really interesting life, and maybe making science videos is the way to do that. I don't know. Right. Anyway, that's really cool. Yeah. I think we're gonna get kicked out like right. now. So, uh, everyone, Toby, if you don't subscribe, you should. But like, there's out of nine hundred of you, there's gonna be zero. So if you are that zero, please subscribe. We made a video on my channel, so. Yeah, it's really good. It was really fun.